What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for a very special video. We're doing our very late 10,000 subscriber special. I promised it. Hospitality at Manchester City and today, February 5th, 2022, two years later, we're here to deliver. The big C19 got in the way of us being able to do this video, but we're here today to be able to do that for you guys. And I am looking forward to it. It's an FA Cup game, fourth round match between Manchester City and Fulham. We're heading to the Tunnel Club. Hence, we're dressed smart, casual, ready for this. But if you do enjoy this video, do make sure you do leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm thinking if this video is successful of running a series based on hospitality at Manchester City. If that's something you do want to see, just let me know in the comments below and do leave a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying it. Also, don't forget as well to subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Absolutely no reason now why we cannot aim the 25,000 subscribers. That's next up on the watch list. And also, don't forget social media links are there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. Go to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. Go to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. We're here in Preston enjoying a pint. We're going to go and descend our way into Manchester to the Etihad Stadium the Tunnel Club and I'm bringing you with me every single step of the way. Here he is. <laughs> I think we're too weird. <laughs> We've made our way to the Alchemist in Manchester now, where we're on a couple of pipe dreams. Someone's happy. Yeah. We're on the pipe dream, one each. Proper Manchester weather, I would say. With rain, FA Cup day, 3 p.m. City taking on Fulham. Really looking forward to this. So next stop, we're gonna go into there, into Tunnel Club. We'll go and have a look at our experience. So we are here now at Tunnel Club. We're sat on the upper level. We have two levels, upper, lower. Lower's where the actual tunnel is. That was 480 pounds. This is 240 down. On entry, very nice staff. Complimentary drinks as well, which is always nice. And we've got some of the food which I've been told are continuously taken away and refreshed with other different foods as well. So I'm looking forward to trying them and seeing what they're all about. Look forward to really tucking in because I'm absolutely starving right now. But service has been brilliant, it's been really nice uh, entry into it. A nice compliment. We've got a match day program each uh, free of charge as well, which is really nice. So yeah, let's uh, let's tuck in. Got our lamb and beans, looking forward to this. That lamb is so well cooked, then beans complement it so well. That's so nice. That is really, really nice. And like I said, with the Tunnel Club, they're just going to keep coming around with different little small plates of food. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else there is. I've seen little little burgers coming around. So I'm looking forward to trying them. But this, this lamb, definitely my recommendation. Really, really nice. I think it's every 20 minutes. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, looking forward to that. to the King Prawn Burger now, little burger that I was mentioning before. Oh, wow. Really nice. That's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10. That's so nice. Yeah. Look at the inside. The really, curry flavour really that, that, that is flavor. so nice. Yeah. Wow. But as you can see guys, I'm on the mushroom risotto, I can't wait to try it. What do you want, Jess? Crab cocktail. Crab cocktail, mushroom risotto. Very nice. 8 out of 10. Crab cocktail. Lovely. <laughs> Nine out of ten. That's really nice. I'm a big fish fan. So that's very nice. One of the 
big perch of Tunnel Club. You get to see the players coming in to the tunnel. It's just made their way over from the Academy Stadium. I'm not sure they've been making their way down in famous blue carpets to join us here in the Etienne Stadium. see or make any special memories today, stick on with a hashtag onto Instagram and Twitter, hashtag the top four welcoming Rodney, Nick McIndoy, Nathan Ake, Zach Stedman, club captain Bernardino, Tim Stones. walking through the, well, into the entrance of the tunnel club, going downstairs into the dressing room for the tunnels, which was uh, really nice to see. Um, I like Jack Grealish at the end, milking it for all that it's worth. <laughs> So that's all the pre-match food and drinks sorted, so we're going to go and head down and go and check out our seats. But before I do that, a quick summary. Mm, very nice. It feels like I'm in a five-star hotel. Feels really nice and lovely. It doesn't feel at all like I'm in a football stadium. But let's go to our seats. Yeah, we're looking at the bottom. So, yeah, we're looking at the bottom. So, there we go, Rovi, seat 43. Oh, you're finding it. I love it. Got it right in the centre, aren't we? Yeah, literally just there. Great seat. Great seat. Still the grim Manchester weather. Yeah. City lining up today, Stefan in goal, right back Kyle Walker, left back Jao Cancelo, centre back pairing John Stones and Nathan Ake, I'm surprised that Emmerich Laporte and Ruben Diaz have been left out considering we've had two weeks off, I did speak about this in my preview in the build up to this game, I'm surprised again with Rodri, he doesn't start, he's on the bench and it's Fernandinho captaining and starting for Manchester City today alongside De Bruyne and Ilkay Gundogan, it looks like it's going to be Riyad Mahrez returning back to Manchester City from the African Cup of Nations with Algeria playing on the right wing on the left wing I reckon probably going to be Jack Grealish and then going up from going to be Phil Foden one of the biggest talking points Aaron Jack Grealish has got the new hairstyle <laughs> yeah I've heard down the train that Jack Grealish hairstyle he's supporting he's got rid of the locks he's having it shaven uh, a little bit of a tie up there I mean he's had it cut off um, <laughs> yeah there we go Jack Grealish had a haircut Uh, but I said I could comment better about a score prediction now going off the teams. It's a pretty strong team from Manchester City as expected. Probably not as strong as what I was expecting. I am still going to stick though with 3-1 to Manchester City. Yeah, I'm sick of 3-1. Yeah, Fulham haven't scored past Manchester City. Uh, what was it? How many games was it in the stats? Was it 14? Uh, well, yeah. yeah, 14 games. Since 2009. Yeah, and City haven't lost against Fulham in yeah. 17 games. So they've uh, beaten them 14 times in the Game the yeah. That could well, that could well be it. That could well be it. I'll have to check it just to check that part. So I think it might be the greatest game where they pulled out for I'll, I'll put it at the bottom with it is or it isn't. <laughs> I'll fact check that one. 
But yeah, free one CT, excellent CT, loving tunnel club. We've got armrests, just here, nice and comfortable. We're wrapped up. It's February, it's throwing it down. It's Manchester, but it's tradition. It's FA Cup. It's well, three o'clock kickoff, fourth round. Come on, City. And a big blue welcome to the current Premier League champions, our boys in blue, Manchester City! City lead to what we went behind. Uh, it was Cavallo, a man that uh, failed with his deadline day move to Liverpool that gave Fulham the lead after City had dominated the first four minutes. Fulham just broke away, first attack, poked it into the back of the net. I'm disappointed there for the defence, I'm disappointed for Zach Stefan uh, as well, but, um, but responded really well just a minute later, scoring a goal and uh, getting back into it. Ilkay Gundogan with a nice tidy finish into the back of the net. And then John Stones, City never score a corner, getting ahead in goal from a corner for us, so we lead. Game went pretty flat after that, but hopefully for the second half we can get my score prediction of 3-1 and yeah we can uh, push on and get into that fifth round because that's all that matters but we're here now back into Tunnel Club pint waiting you order that just before you go downstairs and we've got some snacks as well Here's our snacks at half time Looking very tasty can't wait to get into this Penalty given to Manchester City in the 52nd minute to make it 3-1. Grealish with a nice bit of dribbling. He goes down under a challenge. Referee gives penalty. Chance it to get that killer two-goal cushion. Yeah. Nice and simple. 3-1, my oh, prediction. Winner. Jack Grealish made a nice dribble into the box. Got legged up. I put that on my cheek, on my breathing as well. Uh, I may have gone to the bathroom and missed that goal, but 4 1 City <laughs> Mahler <is> again. <laughs> Oh, 
See James McAtee as well, just standing through contract with Sydney. Looking forward to seeing what he can do with Juan Bernardo. <laughs> That's funny. Raz. Feature the ball in from Gundogan, headed in by Liam Dillat. He looked offside, offside's given. We're just going to wait for VAR to confirm that it is offside, but I think that it is. So 4 1 as we head into the 90th minute now. Time 4 1 City through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Good second half performance there from Manchester City, completely dominated the plate. And so we go through a good game, Fort Fulham played well as well. And we go through. That's the next round we do have now a cheese platter, a little bit of fruit. I've got some orange juice as well uh, and hospitality by the way the tunnel club is open an hour after kickoff which is what we're going to make full use of now <laughs> And that completes my experience here at Tunnel Club for Manchester City. Still very vibrant and loud and everyone enjoying themselves, which is fantastic after kickoff. But I'm hoping to run this as a series for you guys to enjoy, going to other places. The Chairman's Club tempted me. I'd like to go and do that. I'd like to go downstairs, see what the tunnel's like in Tunnel Club as well. I'd like to go and have a look at some of the bars that they've got and compare them and see which one really offers the best value for money. So if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below is this a series you'd like to see and then I'll see what I can do for you guys. But 10,000 subscribers special, all done and dusted. Like I said, we're on that push now towards 25,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to come follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Also, don't forget as well to like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City vlog. I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this experience as much as what I did. Peace. Ciao for now.